All right, here's my question to you football fanatics, okay? <laughs> Have you ever watched a complete preseason football game? Yes. No, you have not. I'm not even going to stop. I actually, watched the, whole, I actually life, watched the whole game last night. Oh, now, granted, I was laid up in bed and, oh, and, and drugged up and oh, didn't know okay. where I was for part of it. It was on the whole night. So. Yeah. Well, uh, we, you know I can what? understand <laughs> you seeing one last night. I, mean, I, can definitely I couldn't really go that. anywhere. Yeah. So I, the TV was on. Yeah. My wife had me situated. Right. And I was like, just bring the antenna back Anyone here. Anyone that's not in a hospital bed. I mean, I usually watch the third one. I'll watch it there because the ones are out there all the first half into the second half. And then I, this year I've been watching because I wanted to find out who our backup quarterback was going to be because mm. I didn't know either one of these guys, Taylor Henke and um, Garrett, Garrett Gilbert. I didn't, I didn't really know them, right? but they can throw. They're, yeah. they're actually pretty good. Big, so. big time college guys coming in. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I've been paying attention to those. I'm one of those guys. I like to see who's going to be second, third on the depth chart. So I will okay. watch a large chunk of it. All of it. Yeah, now I usually watch the largest <laughs> chunk at the very, very end, just simply because I want to know who's going to make what squad that or bottom, could possibly go yeah. over to another team. Those, those bottom couple of guys. Because really, I mean, if you really think about it, the Panthers roster is pretty much set already. Mm-hmm. I mean, for the 55-man roster out of these extra guys they have out there for preseason, what are the – I mean, maybe – Three, four of those guys might end up getting a roster spot. Some of them will put on exactly. practice squad. Right. So, I mean, really, you're just kind of looking to see. I'm looking to see how the offense is performing because of all this hype with North Turner coming in, and I'm super familiar with his offense, being a former Dallas Cowboy fan. Mm-hmm. So I, I know what they can do. Yeah. I want to see Cam Newton completing over 65% of his passes. 65. Yeah, and that's, and what, and that's what hurt me about Cam in the very first game against Buffalo. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but he was overshooting – a lot of his targets, and I was like, "Cam, well, you know, is yeah. Norv not working he's with you? What's going that. on? He's you know, settle down. Yeah. yeah, but I figured like, Norv yeah. would have helped yeah. him with that. It's like yeah. a fire hose. I mean, yeah. sometimes you control high. it. Sometimes <laughs> I mean, there is no soft touch. It's, it's kind of weird, <laughs> you know, not knowing the backup quarterbacks. I mean, those names yeah. mean nothing to me, and, well, and I'm yeah. sure they're they're great. I, I was wondering, I, you think Vinny Testaverde will make a comeback? <laughs> he's got to be what, like Remember 50 now? He, he was, was like 45 yeah. when he they played They pulled him off the couch. Yeah. 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 And he won. He won that game. I remember he <laughs> played Arizona. Bad. He you had like gotta, three days of practice. <laughs> you just got to watch for the fantasy sleepers, honestly, that late into the game. You're just looking for fantasy yeah. sleepers. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, hey, look, Carolina's loaded on offense this year. If they yeah. stay healthy, sky's the limit. I mean, it felt like they went out to try to match the Saints in terms of firepower, and mm-hmm. I think they've done that. Mm-hmm. So we'll we'll see how they do going forward. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we got a loaded uh, segment coming up. We're going to actually talk some more NFL. We're going to pick NFC West and AFC West uh, winners. Plus, Carolina and Duke started their exhibition seasons in basketball, and even though it's only August. We'll talk a little bit about that. Zion Williamson, a grown man out here dunking on everybody. And When are we going to talk some golf? Come on, man. We're we going to get the get golf, golf thing oh, in. Had a, had a record yeah. set at Wyndham yeah. uh, uh-huh. earlier this week. We're going to get into that as well, too. So we still got a loaded show. We're here in the second hour. We're here with you till noon. You're stay with to, us. We're yeah, going stay smooth with us. right now. <laughs> We're listening to the rundown. <laughs> Back to the Rundown with Desmond Johnson, powered by SportsCarolinaMonthly.com. 336-777-1600 is the number to call if you want to chime in. We're on for the next 30 minutes. Uh, Due to the technical difficulties we had in the first hour, we made an executive decision during the break. We are going to wait again to do our NFC West and AFC West previews. I promise we will do that next week along with our ACC Big Four preview for college football because at that point it will be starting the week after so we'll get into wake forest we'll get into north carolina duke and nc state um, and we'll also go through some nfl divisions as well and give our picks for who we think might be winning and uh making the playoffs you are locked into the rundown desmond johnson john oshevsky rod funderberg brandon blakeney in the house um i want to get to carolina and duke basketball i know it's only august but uh these kids are out here playing already I'm sure by now you guys have seen the Zion Williamson dunk from the free throw line that he threw down a couple of days ago. Just nasty. Just nasty. And it was truly from the yeah, free throw line. It was line. truly yeah. from. I think Six it was foot a little seven, behind. 285 pounds. Yeah. He would be an offensive lineman for the Duke football team. Yeah. Yep. And he's out here like. Flying. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? He's flying and he does not, you know, 285. He doesn't look fat to me at all. He's, oh, he's chiseled. He's, yeah. He's chiseled. He kind of, no, I don't want to call him LeBron James like. Well, I but mean, I, I want to compare him. And I, I'm, why am I not hearing this more? Charles Barkley, man, when he, when hmm. Barkley was in college. Seriously, I mean, he was. 
big, but but you he, know, he had some hops. Yeah, he could get up. And if you guys don't remember, Charles Barkley could get up, yeah. and he's only six, really six, six four, five max. Five, We're talking maybe? Auburn Charles Barkley. Yeah. Yes, yes. And so he's still, little, but he was Barkley. he was a little chunky. Back little then. chunky, little, but still he would, he would, he would grab rebound. a defensive mm-hmm. rebound and go straight down the middle and throw down it. I mean, he was Charles was amazing. And you know, the person and I compare him with that. I've always compared Zion to um, a young Larry Johnson. Oh, that's another good in comparison. terms of like the way they, the way their bodies are kind of shaped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I like now, that comparison. Granted, yeah. Zion yes. can get off the floor a lot higher than Larry, and and saying that is a super compliment because young Larry Johnson, like. Junior, senior year, UNLV, first couple years with the Hornets, Larry Johnson. Larry was was it. He was it. And you know <laughs> I mean, what? He, he was, doesn't get mentioned enough. He doesn't. He, he really doesn't. A, he was an amazing rim breaker. player. Yeah. But then he also he had a nice little jump shot. It was a nice little soft floater. And towards the end of his career, he was a pretty good three-point yeah, shooter he was. Um, with the Knicks. So, I mean, he kind of reminds me of that. Now, granted, Zion's like 30 pounds heavier than Larry Johnson. Oh, yeah. Freshman in college, and he's mm-hmm. 30 pounds. I mean, it's... I can't understand how a kid that's 285 pounds is doing this. You know yeah. what's disturbing is, and, and you and I, I think, spoke about it earlier this <laughs> week, but now we see, we're saying, I, you know, I, you brought it up. You said, uh, you know, he doesn't really, you know, he haven't seen a mid-range game or if he can shoot from the outside, he can shoot from the outside. He can yes. get wow. That is disturbing, man. He, he, he wow. Stroking the how leather. are you going to stop that? I don't, well, I don't know. Sounds like lebron is. <laughs> Could he be yeah, a baby maybe, LeBron? You're Maybe right. I mean I'm starting to hear the comparisons. He's got you know, the chase like down LeBron. block. He's got the yeah, chase saw down that. block. I saw that. I mean, Did you see well, it was that? A goal oh, ten, but it still I, looked they nice. They called it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that it was, was good. it was ridiculous. Freakish. I mean, it's, he almost hit his head on the rim, fellas. And, and, and that one wow. dunk, oh, gosh. that tipping <laughs> dunk that he did in did the first take... game against Canada, whoever they played. Oh yeah, where yeah, he yeah, just kind of reached back, grabbed it, and then then he was in the air while he did it, grabbed it, and then he went another level up. To throw it down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you? What? He's special. Ah. He is a special dude. Is there any way that Carolina can take Duke off the schedule this year? <laughs> no, never that. <laughs> I say all this stuff about Zion, but I ain't scared of them, man. Bring no. it on. We're ready. We I got mean, y'all. Inexperience. Zion so much. Inexperience. So you got R.J. Barrett. And those he was the other number guys. one kid in that class. Yeah, I mean, they're calling him the best prospect to ever come from Canada. And that's signed wow. off wow. by Steve Nash. Uh, uh, that's so like better than like Andrew get Wiggins. The, let's get off nice. the Duke yeah, talk. Better than Andrew. <laughs> this is it's starting to make me sick. Well, meanwhile, so good. Uh, meanwhile, the, uh, the Tar Heels played last night in mm. exhibition down in the Bahamas. Um, it was not televised. My understanding is that it was going to be on YouTube, and at the last minute, Roy or somebody was like, mm-hmm. "Nah, I don't put it on there," which is probably fine. They weren't wearing regular uniforms yeah. anyway. It was yeah. basically no, like were. a scrimmage. Exactly, and they ended up winning by like. 20 points, 30 points, mm-hmm. something like that. And I did who they play in the, the, the St. Like Mary's uh, some, yeah. Community College or something? Something no. like I mean, it's like yeah, some it's, random. Yeah. It looked like a but this YMCA is, team. But this is great. Like Ryerson? Yeah. Ryerson. Well, the Dukes, they oh, were playing. Yeah, yeah. 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 But this is Huge great team. stuff for those teams. I don't care yeah. who they're playing. To be right. together playing in August and, and you know really kind of coming together, oh, yeah. Yeah, this, is a, this is a plus. And I guess college teams can do it every four years. Yeah, I was going to say, only every four years they're able to go and do this. and That helps. You know, it, it should be should be pretty good for both teams. Uh, Barrett yeah. had 35 points last night in their second I'm exhibition game. I'm telling you, I mean, that kid what is he's Zion tough. Um, and then Cam Reddish see. is another kid that they're he's saying not even he, suiting up he, yet. He, he might be the number one pick in the draft, guys, and they're not even talking about this kid. Zion had 24. Uh, oh Duke gosh. beat the University of Toronto 96-60 to 60 last night. Barrett was 15 for 26 from the field. He had nine rebounds. Shots. What? Yeah, he shot 30 yeah. shots, I think, the night before. So, I mean, wow, you don't hear that in a Duke player. No, no. I mean, no. I mean no. Coach K's letting him shoot like that. <laughs> I mean, now. he's never had a you know class what? like this. I, it sounds like Coach K's throwing the ball out <laughs> yeah. and saying, Go ahead, boys. Kind of have to. I mean, because all these guys are forwards. Everybody would talk. Yep. Barrett's yeah. a forward. Williamson's a forward. Reddish is a forward. Joey Baker, also Joey a Baker. North Carolina native late signee. They actually got him to skip his senior yeah. year yeah. to join that class. We saw him. Yep. We saw him. Yeah, we the, saw him uh, at the Josh Level Classic. The Josh Level that's Classic, right. that's Six, right. Eight, kind of mm. in the Kyle Singler mo- mold. Yeah, he, I mean, and he, I didn't think he would get a lot of run at all, but and he he's, might. He might be the X factor for mm-hmm. that. Yeah, because they with O'Connell, we thought that, you know, Baker wouldn't see much time, but he's actually getting some burn. Then meanwhile, on the, on the Carolina side, uh, last night they started Seventh Woods. They started, um, uh, my mind just went blank here, uh, Luke May. Sterling Manley got the start. Uh, Brandon Robinson got the start, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm missing somebody. Um, nah, but they they ended up winning as well. They won by like 20 plus. Everything's just falling <laughs> apart in the studio today. I think Kobe White might have been the other starter. 
No, no, it wasn't a freshman. It was that was the thing that threw me off when I saw who it was he because it was a all lot of minutes. it was all upperclassmen mm. that started. But mm. uh, yeah, Kobe got a lot of minutes. Nasir played uh, pretty well. Carolina's gonna be they're gonna be good. Oh, this uh, freshman both class, teams are gonna yeah. be good next year or yeah. this year, I should say. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. I will say with Duke, they do actually have a point guard on the roster this year. In the past two years, they have not, and that's been their Trey. Achilles' heel to me. Trey Jones. Trey Jones. Jones he's not playing in this uh, exhibition. Uh, season, he's got an injury as well Boy, as Cam if he's Reddish. Anything like his brother, that I could not. Be a lot of people say that, that he's be better. Trouble. Yeah, I really they hope have not. a point guard for all, like you're saying <laughs> yeah. for all those forwards. Uh, they just need somebody to get him the ball. But I'm, I'm excited about Carolina. Roy hasn't had a class like this in a very long time. Tar Heel Nation, Sp- Nazir Little. I'm telling you, potential to be a top ten pick. Right. I, 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 out of all these guys on the floor, won the um, the MVP in the McDonald's All American game. Won the MVP in the Jordan Brand Classic game. So he's right up there with them. Speaking of. Uh, Roy and recruiting, uh, we, we probably should mention that he got a huge get oh, yeah. on Thursday. Armando Bacot, five-star big mm-hmm. man, announced his commitment to North Carolina on Thursday. He's the number 21 mm-hmm. or 21st ranked recruit in the 2019 ESPN 100. He chose Carolina over Duke, Oklahoma State, Georgia, and VCU. Carolina was considered the heavy favorite mm-hmm. um, for most of the months, but I saw his little uh, Twitter video yeah. where he was uh, announcing where he was going. Did the juice sploof? Yeah. <laughs> Six foot ten. He's out of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, oh, the thing I like about him the most is that as soon as he basically verbally committed, um, he said that he was already trying to recruit uh, Cole Anthony. Yeah. Have you guys seen Cole Anthony? Oh, yet? Cole Anthony's the best player in college basketball this or high kid, school basketball this kid. right now. He's Greg Anthony's son. Oh. Uh, from UNLV. Mm. Uh, he, a guard. That's yeah, he guard. plays guard. Point guard. Of he's course. A point guard. Yeah. <laughs> and he's probably one of the most athletic point guards I've seen since Kyrie Irving. Like he mm. is. So I he saw has handles like him. Kyrie Irving? Oh, his he has handles. Everything. I don't know if anybody <laughs> has handles like Kyrie Irving. Yeah, Let's okay. stop there. Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> but, but being Greg Anthony's son, but man, the that, handles, is, that goes and, a long and way. And he just recently transferred to Oak Hill, so mm-hmm. we'll actually be seeing them in the Carolinas oh, nice. this year. So yep. oh, get a okay. chance to see him live. Yeah. So they're trying to – They're trying. He he and Bacot is actually best friends with Cole Anthony, mm-hmm. so he said that uh, his next goal is to recruit Cole Anthony to Carolina – uh, he's talking to Josh Green, who's a five-star guard. Oh, Josh Green's the truth. He's, I heard he's really good. And Bacot's a guy, he's very popular. He's a guy that people really um, like to play with. He's one of those old-school big men that will get on the block yeah, and absolutely the dominate. Mm. What you're saying, you know, he's he's re- he's recruiting those guys oh, yeah. now. It, I yeah. mean, college basketball is just like the NBA free mm-hmm. agency. Oh, hey, come and play with come me. Come in package well. deals. Yeah. Come, and, yeah. come and join my Hell, super that's team. That's what Duke's been doing the past four oh, years, yeah. it feels like. You know, they're yeah. getting guys to kind of come together and package deals. I think that's really why Zion ended up Yeah, R.J. Barrett pulled those guys together. Yeah. yeah. So and I mean, and Trey Jones. They see each other on the on the circuit all year round. Oh, so I mean, Olympics, they, all, they all know each you other. Know, yeah, playing FIBA ball. Now I know Carolina's still in the mix for Wendell Moore, who we also saw at the Josh Level Classic. It, 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 uh, super underrated. Really, super yeah. underrated. I, th- I didn't think he played that well in that game in yeah. particular, but it was a one-off type game that we were at mm-hmm. uh, broadcasting and for Netcast Sports. Kobe White really stole the show, and that, that's another freshman. I'm telling you guys, Carolina needs to be excited about these guys. Yeah, he Kobe, scored 40 I, points in that game, gotta, and it did yeah. not feel like and it he at had all. A, who was that rival guy he was with? He was talking trash. Oh, yeah. Too. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Was he it was Kobe Langley? Yeah. Kobe yeah. Kobe yeah. Langley, Langley twins. Langley twins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One they were going back and forth. Two heavily recruited guys in their own right. They're going back to Southwest Skillford, South, right? Yeah. right they're, they're going back to Southwest. State now, are they, two years are they ago? still committed? Did you just pass your stone? And, uh, I keep. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it fell out. No, no hey, so they were like committed to Virginia Tech. They're not committed anymore? Not committed anymore. Nope. Reopened it. So I know Tubby Re-opened. Smith, they recently released. Oh, that would be great if they go to the High Point. So they got Tubby Smith coming oh, wow. up. High that would Point be, visit. That would be something College huge. of Charleston visit as well. So uh, a couple local visits. Those guys. UNCG also in on. Yes. Let's keep some of those. Wow. Okay. Let's keep yeah. some of these young studs so, right local. That'd be beautiful. So yeah. That would be pretty sweet. Um, mm-hmm. 336-777-1600 is the number to call if you want to chime in while we're still talking Carolina Duke. And, you know, uh, biggest surprises, guys, from any of this so far, from what you've seen from Duke of Carolina, anything that stood out? You're like, oh, I didn't know that was going to be what it is. I mean, 
I think you know? uh, for me, it, I think seeing Kobe White out there, it's the transition that he's made so quick to be point guard. He looks like he's going to be the starting point guard for these guys. I was going to ask and you he about came that. In, he came in as a combo guard. We yeah, saw him. Yeah, we saw, saw him. He was, was a shoot first kind of man, guard. He, he came in. I mean, he's this guy is the all time leading scorer in North Carolina basketball. He has scored more points than anybody in the history oh, wow. of the state. He's a heat check. Like, he, a, yeah. literally, he's mm, insane. As soon as he crosses half court, he, he's a threat to, to shoot the I mean, ball. McDonald's all American, no matter how big the stage is. I mean, the kid, the kid performs. Two years ago, he had no offers. Now he's looking like, you know, the five-star recruit he, he was built up to be, maybe the starting point guard. And we know how the line of point guards in Carolina history goes. Not so just anybody gets So he's right. a good right. shooter, too? Yeah. Oh, he's, so, so he's that guy that down. says, tried, uh, when I he, walk in the gym, I'm open. I mean, Pretty much. Steph I mean, it's kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when we did the Josh Level class a couple months ago, he scored 40 points. He's yeah. the MVP. Yeah. But to me, I mean, we were calling the game, and it didn't feel like he scored 40 no, points to me. He, it just mm-hmm. naturally just ended up with 40 at the end. He flows. He's, he's flows. Yeah. Now, I was, I was wondering, because I haven't seen enough of Kobe mm. to know if he's going to be able to start as a freshman at Carolina, and because he, he's got... You know, he's got seventh woods ahead of him. He's a junior. Seventh's had some injuries. Um, But I've seen some workout videos of seventh over the summer. Looks like he might be healthy and ready to go. He He, looks healthy. He threw a jam down last night that got the crowd going. Um, Mm -hmm. I I think seventh might end up starting for a little bit here. He was another guy that had to make that transition. And I think what it is is Kobe's come along so fast. It's just we we expected seventh to be the starter. But Kobe's come along so fast, it's like nobody really expected. But I'm a fan of seventh, and he's another high-level scoring guard that kind of had to make that jump to point guard. If you, is, if you go to YouTube, name. you can still see uh, seventh mixtape from uh, when he was 14. Viral, it's like yeah. one of the Millions. biggest mixtapes ever on YouTube. And it's kind of what got Carolina fans so hype about him because mm-hmm. he signed with Carolina Early. like sophomore year in mm-hmm. high school, something crazy and like he was, that. He oh, was wow. really highly touted. He was a big five-star guy in that in his class, like respectively. Uh, with those guys down in South Carolina. Yeah. So, I mean, they, I don't know. We'll, we'll see with those, but that, those are some of the storylines there in terms of um, can Kobe become the starter there? I think Nasir Little's going to eventually be a starter at small forward. I can't. Uh, you can't keep him can't on the bench. He's a like, one yeah. and done. He's a one and done. Asked, absolutely. Um, uh, I was kind of thinking it'd be like seventh Woods at point. Uh, you're probably going to have to have like Kenny Williams at shooting guard. Then, then you've got like a small forward, probably Nasir. Yeah, Brandon and Robinson makes some Robinson time there. Brandon Robinson will get some there. run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Luke May clearly is going to be playing at power forward, mm-hmm. and then I really have high hopes for Sterling Manley. Sterling Manley oh, the has sophomore? the raw, the yeah. raw ability. Yeah. It's there. He, he, it's there. when you watch him, he's got some offensive polish. He, he showed signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was glimpses. Yeah. But to me, when I saw him last year, it was like he just needs a year in the weight room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got to get stronger Facts. so he yeah. can bang around in there, and he'll be a beast. He'll he kind of like Bryce Johnson yeah. was, or like okay. Brandon Wright build. Yeah, like that yeah. build. Yeah. If Wright had stayed like three years, four yeah. years, just, he'd have been a top ten oh, pick man. easily. If, if he can play some defense and pull some rebounds, because he had twelve rebounds. Yeah. In the game last night, he's and he'd sprinting. be all right. He was like that little bit last year, rebounding wise. He um, pretty good on that end. Like I said, he was getting bullied on the other end defensively. Mm-hmm. Guys are just older and yeah. bigger than him. Okay. Uh, but out of the bigs we have, I like him a little bit more than Garrison Brooks. You same, know, same. I know Brooks was like eight for nine or something last night in the game and played really well, but. He, I think he's a little bit limited offensively. Yeah, for he's what got he can the do. upside. Manning's definitely got the upside. Out yeah. Of um, let, let's do this. Let's take one more quick break. When we come back, uh, history was made at the Wyndham here on Thursday. You probably heard some of this on the drive with us during the weekday. Brant mm-hmm. Snedeker shot a 59, and we were just sitting back wondering what we could pair to doing that in other sports, individual sports. We're going to chop it up with the panel and talk about that. When we come back, you're locked into a two-hour edition of The Rundown. You're listening to The Rundown with Desmond Johnson, powered by SportsCarolinaMonthly.com. 